A fifth woman now stepping forward to accuse him of sexual assault when she was 16. More tonight, vowing to stay in the race. And this evening, the message she says was written by Roy Moore in her high school yearbook. ABC's chief national correspondent, Tom Yamas, on Capitol Hill. Tonight, Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore refusing to drop out even as a new woman comes forward accusing him of sexually assaulting her when she was just 16. My name is Beverly Young Nelson. Nelson says she met Moore when he was an assistant district attorney and she was a high school student working part-time as a waitress. He sat at the counter in the same seat night after night. She says Moore would flirt with her. One December, she brought her yearbook in, and he asked to sign it. The inscription, she says, right here. To a sweeter, more beautiful girl, I could not say Merry Christmas. And signed, Love Roy Moore, DA. Two weeks later, on a cold night, Nelson says Moore offered to give her a ride home after work. I trusted Mr. Moore because he was the district attorney. But instead, Nelson says Moore drove her around back. The area was dark and it was deserted. I, I was alarmed and I immediately asked him what he was doing. <laughs> Instead of answering my questions, Mr. Moore reached over and began groping me and putting his hands on my breast. I tried to open my car door to leave, but he reached over and he locked it so I could not get out. I tried fighting him off while yelling at him to stop. But instead of stopping, he began squeezing my neck, attempting to force my head onto his crotch. She says he tried to pull her shirt off. I thought that he was going to rape me. I was twisting and I was struggling and I was begging him to stop. Finally, she says, Moore gave up. And he then looked at me and he told me, he said, you're just a child. And he said, I am the district attorney of Etowah County. And if you tell anyone about this, no one will ever believe you. Only then, she says, did he let her out of the car and raced away. Nelson's allegations come in the wake of a bombshell Washington Post report, which included an interview with a woman who says Moore molested her when she was only 14. To think that grown women would wait 40 years to come before, right before an election, to bring charges is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. But the Post also spoke to three other women who say Moore either dated or asked them out when they were teenagers. Something Moore doesn't explicitly deny. Do you remember dating girls that young at that time? Not generally, no. If I did, you know, I'm not going to shoot anything, but I don't remember anything like that. The pressure on Senate Republicans overwhelming. Hours before Nelson told her story, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell calling on Moore to drop out. I believe the women have. I think he should step aside. Tonight, another senator echoing that call. Senator Graham, if Roy Moore's watching this tonight, what would you tell him? Uh, for the good of yourself, your family, and your state, step aside. David, Roy Moore just addressed those accusations. Here's what he said. He says, I never did what she said I did. I don't even know the woman. He also says he has no idea where that restaurant is or was. As for all those Republican senators calling for him to step aside, Roy Moore took to Twitter, tweeting, the person who should step aside is Senator Mitch McConnell. He has failed conservatives. Hashtag, drain the swamp.